What's up, y'all? It's Don. I'm back. Classic Zeke and Capriciousness. Let's get into it. This is more on the capricious side because I love bodybuilding, but obviously I'm a student of life too. And I like talking about life topics and getting your opinions and seeing what y'all think. So here we go. So for today's topic is be a good friend, but don't be a fool. Now, what do I mean by that? I think people, a lot of times, and I'm very guilty of this, are kind of blindly loyal to friends and always see the best in people, even when they're kind of showing you who they truly are through their actions. I love that Maya Angelou quote, um, when people show you, are, show you who they are, believe them the first time. In my case, it's like the third, fourth, fifth time. And I've kind of had to learn to be more cutthroat when it comes to people that I consider friends. Because I don't know if, if you've been a good friend to somebody and to me being a good friend is keeping someone out of trouble, telling them when they're doing something that's stupid and just being honest with them, even if they get mad about it. And you've done that multiple times and you do one thing that they don't, they don't like and they turn on you, that kind of tells you everything you need to know. They really weren't truly your friend. Um, I've had that happen to me where I, you know, there's someone that, that I loved and I looked out for and I tried to be a great friend to them and I tried to be honest with them about stuff and try to, you know, and just try to do what I could to help them out when they were in a situation they needed it. But there'd be times when we would disagree on something and they would hold a grudge against me for it. And to me, that's that's not a good sign because I, it's it's okay to disagree on stuff, but you still gotta have that love for one another. And when you don't see that in the other person, I think it's best to kind of let them go. And I'll, another thing too, another point, when someone's your friend and they kind of make slick comments all the time about you and about what you're trying to do and your, your goals and aspirations, that's also not being a good friend. If someone truly, you know, is your friend and looking out for you, they could they should encourage you, not, not blow smoke up your ass, but encourage you and tell you what's necessary in order to reach that goal. That to me, that's being a good friend. Not just crapping on someone's dreams and telling them they can't do it and making fun of them for it. To me, that's just, it's not a good look. Um, and I think people, we get so caught up. Oh, I've known some of him for 20 years. I've known him for 10 years. I mean, like, so what, dude? Like, you can meet someone that, you know, that you, you know, you meet someone 20 minutes from now. You, you know, meet someone talking for 20, and they get that, you know, you can meet someone, you know, just today and they have better attentions for you than someone you've known for 20 years. So I, I don't think time frame matters when it comes to friendships. You got to look at if they're helping, if they're contributing to the success of your life and if they're bringing positive energy towards you. And if they're not, you got to cut them. That's my, that's my personal opinion. I've learned to be kind of cutthroat when it comes to that stuff. It's like, if you cross me one time, it's, and honestly, it's, it's nice because you, you, you just don't deal with extra bullshit and you're okay with, if you have to just being alone for, you know, for the weekend, like that's fine too. But the people that you do keep around, you, you know, they genuinely have good intentions for you. And that's a powerful thing, but that's how I feel. Y'all let me know how you feel in the comments. Much love. Peace.